I'm deciding to do my PlayStation original collection. It's about, actually it is 29 games. I'm planning on getting some more. I'm definitely going to build it up way more than that. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to have, but there's still quite a few more out that I want to get. So, let's do this. Okay, that's going to work right there. Alright, this is the Spyro Collector's Edition. I'm so glad that I have this. And I didn't want to have to pay too much for it, so I'm so glad that I have it. And I was able to get it for a decent price. Uh, Spyro the Dragon, the original. Spyro Ripto's Rage. Spyro the Year of the Dragon. Year, Year of the Dragon, that's right. I don't know why I said the for. But, um, and those reignited versions are so much better. I'm still hoping for the Switch version. Hopefully one day. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes, Strikes Back. These are actually my original versions that I had as a child. I still have them. Crash 3. Warped. And then... The Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is amazing. Uh, maybe one day I'll get to experience it in Fur K, hopefully. One day. Croc. And then Croc 2. I would love to see these in, in an HD remake. That would be insane. And, um, if you don't already know, these series, Spyro, Crash, and Croc, are basically almost like the same thing. They're action-adventure platformers. You go around collecting stuff, taking out enemies in all kinds of ways. Same goes for some of these other ones. Bugs Life. Really good game. It's definitely based off the movie, and it's kind of like it's, it's its own thing, but it's mainly based off of the film. Uh, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase is actually a really good game. They're kind of like they're inside of a video game also, even though you're actually playing a video game and that's the storyline of it. It's like they're trapped inside of a video game. It's really good. I know, I had this in my collection. It's actually not, not too bad. SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. It's pretty fun. It's a side scroller, and this is a action adventure platformer. Same goes for if I didn't already say a bug's life as well. Um, this one is an action adventure platform as well, Lilo and Stitch. And if you don't already know, which I don't really like it too much, not sure how they're gonna do it, but they're doing a live action movie on Lilo and Stitch. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So. Another action adventure platformer, but it's more of a side scroller. Tarzan, fantastic game, really good. It even has some of the music in there from the from the movie that it's based off of. Rayman, a side scroller, fantastic game. I think there's a there's a second one out also on PlayStation. I want to get it as well someday. This one is a platformer and also a racing game. In a puzzler Rugrat Studio Tour. Uh, I think there's two or three more out on PlayStation. I plan to get them as well. Fantastic games. They're really, really good. Harry Potter. Harry Potter fan. This game is really good. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And I think they also had Chamber of Secrets out for PlayStation as well. Action Adventure platformer. Um, some kind of shooter game. Never played it yet. Army Band. Green Rogue. Have not played it yet. Looks like it might be fun. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, Darkstone is an RPG. I played a little bit of it. It's n not really a games I'm into too much, but it is pretty fun though, what I've played of it. Um, fantastic racing game. I definitely want to get part two. Gran Turismo. Fantastic game. Awesome. The first in the series of seven games. Because the latest one is on PlayStation 
and PSVR support. Fantastic franchise. Uh, driver, you are the wheelman. I think there's a second one out on PlayStation as well. It's kind of like, um, it's not like Grand Theft Auto, but, um, drive around, you do like stunts and stuff, and there was a series that's very similar to this, was out, was out called Stuntman, and that was a good game, that, I think that's on PS2 and other stuff like that, fantastic game, definitely get part 2 as well. Air Combat, have not played this yet, I'm not really into Air Combat type style games where you're flying a plane and around shooting stuff, I'm not really into that, but it does look fun though. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, I believe this is the original. Fantastic series, even though 5 and some of the other ones really suck. But some of the early ones, like 1, 2, and 3, and I think 4 was also was pretty good. But definitely 1, 2, and 3 were really good. And that was also on the PlayStation Classic, which I don't really plan to get one. It's got a lot of issues. NBA Shootout 2004. You know how I feel about sports games. Don't care for them, but I have them. So there you go. Um, it's another collector's edition. It's a sports co collector's edition. There's tons more of these I want to get. There's a Grand Theft Auto one. There's a one that's got a 007 game in it. And there's there's a, another set also. And there's a Crash Bandicoot one too. And I definitely want to get all of them if possible. I know some of them are going to be hard to get because they're quite expensive. But, um, NASCAR Thunder 2002, fantastic racing game. Madden 2002, and NBA Live 2002. And almost done. Uh, Tomb Raider 2, fantastic series. And I'm. I'm I don't have all of these yet, but I'm planning on getting them all. Action adventure, platformer, shooter. Same goes for the rest of the series, Tomb Raider 3. I need to rebuy this for the manual and everything, basically. And for this one, it does not have the disc in here, so I need to rebuy it just for the disc. Uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles. And that's my last game in my original PlayStation collection. Um, I'm Auckland. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button and the like button also and share it with your friends. If you don't mind, that'd be amazing. Thank you so much. Alright, bye.